Hey guys, welcome back. It's Mike again from Gears, Guns, and Grub. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. I've had some people reach out to me and ask how specifically I do the recessed lettering in my guns. And when I say that, what I mean is I tend to like to paint those a different offsetting color, just highlight it a little bit. It's a cheap way to, to make your gun look different and uh, just something cool, I think. And I'll give you an example. If you could see that in the camera... So this happens to be my M&P shield, and you can see how I did the M&P logo and the Smith & Wesson logo back here in a gray. So this is like a battleship gray. I've seen a lot of people do that in white and red and that kind of thing. It's really easy. It's going to take you about 10 minutes to do, and uh, the effect is pretty cool. So I'm going to take you into my shop. I'll meet you back there, and uh, I'll teach you how to do it. All right, so we're in my shop, and forgive this filthy table. We've been doing a lot of work back here. But what I have for you laid out is my Smith & Wesson. This is the M&P Sport 15, M&P 15 Sport 2. Uh, this is my AR. And you can see that from the factory, it came with uh, a really light engraving that they've offset in white with the logo on there. Now, if I flip it over, what you're going to notice is that the opposite side, and I'm just using this for demonstration purposes, but their logo that's engraved, and I don't even know if you can see it on the video, but it is just black, and it's recessed in black, and, uh, uh, you know, painted black over it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to highlight that. And I'm going to show you first what you're going to need. You're just going to need to use some cheap nail polish, and, uh, you know, just nothing fancy, just any color you like. This happens to be in white, obviously. And then you're going to need, and this is the most important part, nail polish remover. But you want to use the non-acetone nail polish remover. Now, I can't say that I've had any bad experiences or, or tell you any horror stories with the, the kind that's not the non-acetone. But from what I understand, it can harm the finish of your gun. So... Here's the deal, guys, is, is I'm just showing you something that worked for me. I'm sure there's many other techniques to do this, but as always, as with anything you do, you want to tie, uh, try everything out on an inconspicuous area in case it is going to cause something. I'm not going to be held responsible for, for your gun, let's put it that way. So again, cheap nail polish, non-acetone nail polish remover. The next thing you want to do is make sure that you have some gun patches on hand because you're going to use those in a little bit. I'll show you how. So I've already gone through and I've wiped this down with some rubbing alcohol or use some kind of uh, a degreaser because if you have any gun oil on here, it's not going to work for you at all. You want to make sure you shake up the nail polish really well. And I'm going to do that and that's why you might hear some fluttering in my voice. It's not because I'm nervous or anything. Then you're just going to take it and apply it directly onto that lo recessed logo that is in there. And you want to make sure that you've filled in all of it. And I'm just going to brush it in there. You don't have to go crazy with this. You don't want to put too much, but I have in the past, I've put too little. And if you put too little, you're going to see that you're just going to wipe it right off here in a little bit. So you, you definitely don't want to do that. And, you know, wiping it off, there's no harm in that. You just do this same process over again, and uh, and it'll be just fine. There's nothing to freak out about. Uh, from my experience, I, I find that you're going to have a hard time messing this up. Let's put it that way. Um so you're just going to apply it, make sure you've got even coverage in all the areas. And now, the great news with nail polish is it dries really quickly. Um, so you're going to want to give this some time to, to just set up and dry. I'll tell you that I've, I've seen one uh, crazy thing where a guy actually did this with crayon. It seems pointless to me. He said it only lasts him two or three weeks, but he thought it looked good. Um... I just don't understand it. This is the way that I've seen other people do it, the way that works well for me. So I'm going to go ahead and let this set up. I'm going to turn the video off for a minute so that you don't have to uh, sit here and watch paint dry, literally. 
I'll turn it back on and I'll tell you what the next step is. All right, guys, we're back. Uh, this has had a couple minutes to set up. It doesn't have to be 100% dry. We're not going out for a night on the town or anything, so you're not going to mess up your nails. Um, in fact, the longer you let it set up and if it hardens all the way, it just makes it all that much harder for you to get uh, the excess off. So what I'm going to do now is just simply apply some of the... Uh, nail polish remover to my gun wipe and I've got an extra in here just to show you so it's just a cleaning swab uh, that I use uh, you don't want it dripping because if it's dripping it's going to oversaturate it and I, I put a lot on that one uh, so on a little bit less if that happens just put that particular swab inside of another one or even two and that's going to help absorb some of the excess away. If you have too much, you're going to absolutely wipe out all of the nail polish. You don't want to do that. Then you're just going to gently go over the area where you've just applied all of the nail polish. And you're going to rub back and forth. If you press too hard, you're going to wipe out what's in those recesses. So try to keep your towel level. And just wipe back and forth across there. As I do that, what you'll be able to see, as you can already see in these lettering, this lettering here, how it's coming off. And that's exactly what you want. And I'll just keep going. What I'll do is I'll just get the ball rolling here and I'll get it started. And then again, I'll cut away and uh, come back so you can see uh, as we get closer to the finished result. But what you can tell is that it's wearing away over in these, these edges. And that's exactly what we're looking for. Maybe a little bit more nail polish. Might have taken a little bit too much off that original time. There we go. And you can see the logo starting to come through. Wiping the heavy areas. And the thicker you put your polish on, the longer it's going to take to wipe all of this off, obviously. So, and you can tell how that's starting to, to shine up pretty nicely. Not shine up, I don't know what I'm talking about. It's starting to, to clean off all that excess. Uh, polish. Let me get a dry one just to check my work. See, I've got a little bit more to uh, wipe off, but that's going to give you an idea. I'm going to clean it up a little bit, and I'll be right back. All right, guys, so there it is. I'm going to try to get you a better close-up shot here. And you can see how that turns out. It really sets it off. Um, you know, just a little accent. You can see on the corner here, or the, uh, the end for the west, and I rubbed a little hard on that and I took it out. All I would have to do is reapply the polish and do it all over again. Uh, but otherwise, it looks pretty darn good. And again, it just sets it off. Here's a tip I'm going to give you, though. This works great with light colors. If you were going to use red, if you wanted to provide a red accent to anything, I highly recommend that you do it in white first. Finish this whole process, then do the exact same thing in red. Now before you apply the red to it, allow this to set up 100%, otherwise you're going to wipe it out. Apply the wet red over this white finished product, that's going to allow the red to pop. Otherwise, red is a very opaque color in a paint, 
and it's going to take you layer after layer after layer and it's never going to look a bright bright red like you want it to so anyway i hope that helps guys you can see that within a couple minutes it really sets off your guns and uh, hopefully you enjoy the finished product thanks a lot and i uh, hope you enjoyed the video check out gearsgunsandgrub.com